Oh, you just don't want to scoot over a little bit. Thanks. There you go. That's enough. That's enough. people join. Feels like it's Friday. I don't know why. It is Wednesday, right? I hope so, because we should be on the road if it's any later. <laughs> Itsy Bitsy Tiny Giraffe is in the house. What's up, Giraffe Thief? Megan, what's up? Megan. We shall be on our way tomorrow in the AM. We're, we're going to take our time getting there, so. Because I ain't trying to drive 24 hours. Day. Erica misses you too. Me not so much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tutors breaking stuff. Hi Jeff and Erica. Oh my God, you you must have been reading my mind. Mm -hmm. I just dealt with this issue and need to know how to fix it. Oh, awesome. Well, that's what we're here to do. We are here to hook you up. So you don't, oh. Oh my gosh. Different part. Womp. That lower camera is so terrible. All right, what do I gotta do to fix this damn camera? It's Lucy. Too much color. I'm just. We got the too much color in the do do do. Uh -huh. do, 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 do 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 do. I'll let you tell them what I'm doing. All right, so. If you noticed, you are are live with ATD, Artists Till Death. I'm Jeff, that is Erica over there. We are from Dallas, Texas, and we are here to help. First off, thanks for joining. Second, if you have not subscribed to us, please do that. Hit that subscribe, punch that thumbs up button while you're at it. Leave a comment. If you put a thumbs down, let us know. Let us know why. So we can fix that for you. Uh, what's up, baby cakes? Clara. Sue, what's happening? Melissa. Susan. Jasmine, what's up? Mary Beth. All the mods. Thanks for modding. All right, so what Erica's doing right now, she is cutting out, and you normally shouldn't do this, but since we're flooding it, I, I don't really think it's a big deal unless you, I guess it really wouldn't be either if you cut a deep hole because the resin's gonna fill it up. It's gonna fill it. Uh, what she's doing is cutting out her mermaid, and then she's going to trace that image with the foil pin, the adhesive foil pin. Um, and then we're gonna put some bioluminescent stuff on there. Yeah, typically you wouldn't wanna cut anything on your surface like this, but. Well, she's a rebel. Fill it, doesn't really matter. up shading of the heart I 
I've had Grease songs stuck in my head now. I know, it's been the stuck in my head. Be together. That's, that's what we get for watching Grease. That's true. Also, worth it. Lies. So worth it. Okay. So, before I do the mermaid, I'm going to address the imperfect surface that we have. Um, a lot of times when we're doing, I guess this counts as a stencil piece. Um, we'll cut it off the surface, not on it like I'm doing. And then we'll do spray adhesive on the back of the stencil so it doesn't move from where we have it. Like right now, all of this center area is moving. But since I'm not going to be spraying it, I'm going to be uh, using the, the fork. deco pen. Um, I can just address it as I'm going. So you can probably see it on this camera right here, all of these dimples. Yeah, you can see it real bad. <sighs> this was caused by the spray adhesive that I used. So be advised about that. What I'm going to do moving forward is use a spray clear sealant. Susan, I'm proud of you for airbrushing. Keep it up. Just keep it up. Every day you're gonna get you're gonna get better. I'm gonna use a spray sealant um, to seal in the UV and hopefully that makes a difference. You're gonna use a spray sealant? To seal in my why? If it's gonna be because I don't want more dimples. You think that you think that the adhesive does that? I don't know what the um. That's the only different thing I've done on this piece that I didn't. You're not going to spray that, right? No. No. But I am going to seal it in just to ensure that that's not. I don't want these dimples, and I'm pretty sure it was from the spray adhesive, which I'm not going to use. I'm using the yeah. deco pen, but I'm still going to seal it in just to be sure that I don't have any issues. So when you have dimples like this, you got to figure out how deep they are and if you can fill it with one layer. These dimples go all the way to my previous layer. So if this was not a piece that I used all that heat on, it would be an eighth inch deep divot. What you need to do is sand it down with a 220 or 400 grit sandpaper. 400 probably unless you have um, really high points. And I should have done this before I put my this on here but I was being overzealous. And this will be fine. Because this is the areas where most of my dimples are. So we're just knocking down any high points. And it's scary sanding a surface down. It's, it's really frightening. It's like, what am I do? Why am I scratching this? First time I did it, I was like, it's never going to be hidden by just a layer of resin. But it was, and it's fine. And then we're going to wipe it off with some alcohol. Alcohol. Thank you, Kathy. Wiping down this surface with alcohol does two things. It wipes off the, what is it, the whatever I just sanded, and it helps to soak up whatever it makes. You may just sanded just around that? Were you not listening? <laughs> so, it helps to pick up the dust that you just sanded off and whatever may be on your surface that caused these divots in the first place. These divots look an awfully lot alike. Um, 
the divots that you get if you use silicone in your acrylic pour or in your resin. See. So the alcohol will help to soak that up. If you used silicone, stop it. Then to fix it, um, okay, Miss, lay down. I know a lot of people use cornstarch to soak up any oils that they have before doing a flood coat. I've also heard people say that they've had success with Dawn dish soap washing off their piece before they add resin. Just make sure you get all that residue off. And then I've also heard that if you put a drop of, if you did a piece that has silicone on it, and then you put a drop of silicone in your flood coat resin, it's supposed to op offset the dispersion. Mm. I haven't tried that myself, so I can't speak on it, but I've heard that that's a thing. All right, so I prepped my surface. If your low points are because you didn't mix your resin fully, so you have gummy points, you're gonna need to scoop out what you can, acetone or 91% alcohol, clean that out, then sand it, more alcohol, then flood coat. Also, if your pits are from silicone, do a clear spray adhesive or a couple layers before your resin to further seal it in because it is so frustrating to have a beautiful piece that ends up with dimples. Okay, now on to the this. But if you have questions about what I just said, just tell me. We'll answer them. Just tell me. Um, and don't feel bad if your piece has dimples in it. That is something every resin artist has had to deal with. It doesn't mean you're a bad artist by any means. Did the fixative cause pits? Uh, the spray fixative did, I believe. Okay, since I can't really see where I'm at and where I've been or what I'm doing, I'm just gonna work in parts. Swamper says, John Franklin Art puts silicone in his blood coat resin. He has a video on it. And that should tell you that apparently it works. Did you put that stuff down now? Do you need a new, a new thing there? I feel like it's working. I just don't want to miss anything. I think it's okay, baby. There's a new thing. There's a new thing. We have so much gold for it. So just now I'm mixing a little bit of purple into my blue glow. myself. You guys probably can't see that, but you can kind of see it. A little glowy glowy. Let's see if we can do this. You want? Uh, oh yeah, that's not that's fine.
thought I was doing something wrong because it would charge and then I rolled it and I was like, oh my God, why isn't the, what did I just do by mixing the two colors? You're special. It's because only the top got the light. Anyways. 1999 from Booger Shea. Thanks, Booger Shea. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Where's my bow, 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 bow. It's over there somewhere. You got the bow, bow, bow. Can we turn the lights back up though? Because I can't see where I've already put the sticky. Bow. Okay. Bow, bow, So yeah, I'm gonna do this in just quick layers. Oh, now I see it. Thank you, Burger Shay. We appreciate it. That will be a tank of gas tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. We did have a last minute cancellation. If you or someone you know will be in the Bradenton area and wants to learn some resin things, Uh, we have a spot open. This one is like, I guess I could just turn it around. Hold on. Maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, much better. Betty, she is drawing. Um, she just cut out a stencil for a mermaid so that she can trace it with the foil adhesive pen. And then she's gonna sprinkle some uh, luminescent over it. What is that, stone coat? Um, oh, you're gonna cover it all in? Oh, I was just thinking of a, <laughs> of a just outline. I don't understand what you're doing. I've gone this far. How you didn't notice it before now. Sprinkle some on there. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the paper. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I'm going to pay more attention in class. I wish I could be there. Y'all still planning Santa Cruz as well. And I would definitely be a uh, mom and daughter. Um, yeah, well, we, we're planning on going all over. We just gotta, we gotta get, uh, <laughs> we gotta get uh, a venue. The answer is yes. Well, I am special. Mom always told me I was special, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just in back of the camera. I don't need to be up front. You guys need to see all the information up there. I'm useless. I am the useless one. I wouldn't say that at all.
Um, if you guys know of a place that we can use while in Santa Monica, let us know because that's our next job is to find a venue to teach that class in. See. That goes for anybody that wants us to do a class anywhere. We gotta have a venue, so if you guys ever know of one and want us to come your way. <laughs> we went hunting. Where were we at? Jackson. Gosh. How funny is that? It was at Jack's Beach. No, it just has to be able to hold at least six eight foot tables with students. No, we don't need like all of the space. All of the space. Would you consider St. Louis, Missouri? We consider everywhere. We just need a space and at least 10 to 15 people to fill the class. <laughs> yeah. Because we drive when we're in the States. Yeah. When we're in, when we're in America, we'll drive normally because we take a lot of stuff. Do you have another sticky pen? I do. Alberta, Canada. Mm, not so much. Here's the thing with Canada. They make it really hard to do business there. They make it hard to do anything if you're uh, doing stuff. <laughs> it was a very broken, confusing thing. We'd love to do Canada. I don't think Canada... Particularly right now. You have to have a, a, a like business a, license and a business visa. Yeah. Which technically all countries want you to have. Either a travel or tourist visa or a business visa. And I guess how we could do it is pre-sell everything and do all the monetary transactions here and then just teach the class there you know what I mean like no money exchanges hands once we get to Canada Bakersfield Ohio Orange County <laughs> We love it all. You guys just find us a venue. And a big mansion to stay in. <laughs> we already have a friend in the UK that's like, I found her castle. Not the UK, Ireland. Yeah. 
We're ready for Ireland country. I guess I just want more out of this pen than it's giving me. Well, maybe you should have done Mona Lisa. Yeah, I'm thinking I should have. But is it coming out at least? <coughs> ah, ah, that's enough. You're back by the microphone, right there. Cujo, that's enough. I know, but that's enough. Coming out, but just not. I drew one of those thin, leafless trees. How can I paint it in without getting out the lines? I don't know what that means. I don't know what. Sorry, my contacts are like, every time, every time I go to read this, they always start to like cloud up, it feels like. Okay, let's go. Okay, boys, lay down. I mean, at least, I mean, at least 10, I mean, we, we'd like at least 10 people, I mean, because we have to, we rent, we rent a van, we have to stay, you know, in hotels, gas and food, and <laughs> so it's, it's, it's pretty expensive for us to, to travel like that, so. I want to go back to that, I can't know what that says, epoxy drive? No. ECM got me some drops. I, I I forgot that I had those. I gotta go put some of that good stuff in. Do 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 right. So it's kind of splotchy because I switched out the see. <laughs> you were talking to the people. Uh. I switched out the pens, and you can see the brush strokes. Oh yeah! And you put purple in there. I put both of them. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, which will take only a second, is I'm gonna paint this in with the Mona Lisa or the lady with the bottle. The bottle of the lady. It's by Speedball. It's very liquidy, sticky stuff that is a milky color. It's liquid adhesive. It's sizing for Goldie. Yeah, all those things. Um, and it's a milky color till it's ready for you to put stuff on it then it goes clear but since i already have stuff down it's going to be a little bit more of a tea tiny battle for me to figure out when it's ready but all i have to do is touch it i should have done this in the first place it's going to be way quicker
weird because it's like pushing the powder around that I had down on the first layer. Brush strokes will matter, but I'm trying to avoid any brush strokes. Kim Mary says, I have access to a space in the mall. I can't do this. Why, Why does it do that to me? I also have a 25 by 25 covered patio. I taught kids painting, pouring in the garage for free because I didn't trust them anywhere else. My <laughs> whole garage is a studio now. That's in Ohio? I don't know where that's at. Some, some, uh, Kim May, sorry. I can't read for crap right now, y'all. My contacts are like... It's like the closer I get to the screen, it's harder. I don't know if it's because it's uh, black background and white lettering and I need to be not so up close. Get contacts, they say. It'll be fun, they say. <laughs> you can switch back to your glasses. Because you look cute in your glasses. You look hot in your glasses. Have you guys seen her in her glasses? I'm trying to see if it's tacky on here and it's not yet, but then I put my fingers together and they're tacky. Kim, where is, where is that space at? It's Simi Valley near Los Angeles. We're just in LA. I love me some LA. Shoot me a message. Let's start discussing. Blue blocker. You, would this powder have anything to do with this not getting sticky? Let's, um, I don't know. When you hand wash your hoodie, be nice. Don't put it in the washer. Don't have it uh, dry clean. And, and I would definitely hang dry it. These are handmade. This, is, this isn't screen print. I make all these hoodies. Myself. Jeff, my daughter just switched back to glasses, couldn't take the... Well, I don't mind. It's just every time I start reading for you guys, I don't know if it's just because end of the day or it's just because it's up close and, and, and it's... Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's just so much light in here. I, I don't know. Maybe I just can't read. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more coat of this, and if this doesn't get sticky, and you guys, um, we have uh, the resin butler, yeah, resin butlers. 
No. Yeah. Wine butlers in in stock. So if this doesn't get sticky, I'm just going to use a spray adhesive. I have it masked off anyways. Mm -hmm. I wanted to avoid that because I'm pretty sure that's what gave me the pits in the first yeah. layer. But if that's the only way I can get sticky, then that's what I'm going to have to do. Get sticky. Yeah, we need to wrap this up anyway because we need to start loading up that van. Huh, Bowie. We got to load up the van. I've never seen this stuff not get sticky, so I'm going to just assume that it'll be sticky by the time I'm done with this layer. Did you wipe that other stuff off? I dusted it off. I don't know how I would have wiped it off. Mm. How would I have wiped it off? Uh, Carla, the 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 uh, the glow in the dark powder is from Stone Coat. No, we can't take the boys. We usually take them, but... Hello, Donna Parker. I had a last minute change in that. So, their sitter is actually coming to stay in our house this week. Um, the next two days, we might, we might try to go live on the road just for fun. Um, maybe find the world's biggest uh, ball of yarn or um, <laughs> I don't know some roadside dinosaur who knows uh, but I'm sure we'll go live when we when we get to Florida world's biggest tutor <laughs> world's biggest tutor you make a shirt make your shirt that says that world's biggest tutor want to see it <laughs> y'all see y'all see you want to y'all see yeah, the C. How? What? It's not sticky? But then... Because it maybe takes a minute for it to stick. Yeah, we got us a road trip coming. Um, last time we drove straight through, and that was a horrible idea. What? That was not a horrible idea. Driving straight through? You thought it was a horrible idea. I didn't think it was that horrible. Because you slept. You had the option. But I can't sleep when you're driving. Because I don't want you to sleep when I'm driving. Oh yeah, show everybody my piece of art. <laughs> my wood. upside down um, if you guys follow us on TikTok, you can see how I made that I made a, a uh, stencil for it and painted it and my bee filmed me all right I'm over it spray sticky it is yeah we'll probably drive like six, seven hours, every eight hours the first day. I'm going to try to go as far yeah, as possible the first day. Far, far as possible. And then uh, next day get up. We're going to get a hotel. Hopefully we can get a casino hotel. <laughs> Hotel, motel, holiday in Alright, All right, you and Tudor aren't allowed to be friends anymore. Y'all are singing the same song. I'll spray you with sticky. This stuff is no kidding sticky. What is it, Bowie? And if it oversprays onto your floor, your feet are going to stick for forever. 
You're being highly distracting. That was Bowie. Bowie sat on it. Was he? Yeah, I did. He sat on it. Sorry. Now dump it all on there. I would take that. Um, I would take. I would take that. Uh, your masking off, and then put the stuff on there, so yeah. you don't waste a bunch of that. Y'all don't breathe that stuff. <laughs> what did we do? I'm having the worst. Did you put that on upside down? I don't know. The paper? What that means. Well, how is it up? How can it be upside down? Because you're supposed to. Let me think here. It's supposed to go this way so the paper comes out and then you rip it. How, how is it? I think then it is probably yeah. upside down. I just wanted it on there and it it's hurt my hand when I did it so I was just ready to be done with it. So I just put it on there. When are you going to cut my Alabama cradle board? Oh, I don't know if you're yelling at me or all the question marks or whatever. We have to wait on our builder for any yeah, custom boards. Yeah. We don't cut those in house. Sorry, Lisa. I have done El Paso to Orlando anytime. What's up, Tudor? We got us a we got us a van. We have to take that those seats out. Ooh, Tudor, you can help do that. Yeah, you and Tudor can take those seats out. I've never taken seats out of a van. We only just want to take one out, right? I think we can only take one out. I think all of them are out. Right, I'm seeing a breach. Mm -hmm. Right here. But I think it's fine. I think it'll just get, you're gonna resin over it, right? Yeah, but it's gonna ruin my silhouette. I don't think it's going to be that much of a big deal. If you're going to put waves over it, a breach. Breach! Okay. I can see my silhouette, which makes me happy. Well, I won't be able to be visible. Good job, babe. Good job. Thanks. I practiced that. All right, now I'm going to rub it in just a little bit. That's this. That was Bowie. Okay, I'm going to take that away from you and Bowie in a minute. That sounds like a dare. I'll come over there. What are you going to do? Do my best to not let these people witness a murder. Oh. <laughs> you the mad scientist of art. Oh, Donna Parker, we drove it last year. And then we drove all over 
where do we drive to? Colorado, Phoenix, Mexico, New Mexico. Um, I gave you a three on that one, Jeff. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night. I'll be here all night. And then are you guys ready for the reveal? Tell me when you're ready, babe. Almost ready. So I'm going to take that away from you. No, you're not. Because I'm going to... We're going to make it fun for everyone. Okay. Let me know. So what you're doing, what she's doing is just brushing off the excess... Kathy, we have never came up to Washington. Brushing off the ex ex extra powder. And I'm about to turn the lights out. She's going to hit it with the... Uh... You don't be able to see it? Yeah. I'm going to turn these lights out. When you're ready... Hit it with the hot, hit it with the, uh, ooh, I got one over here, too. <laughs> what even is? It doesn't really do much of anything. Because I use so many layers of sticky and my paper stuck a little bit, so I'm just etching that off with this Exacto blade. Not too concerned about scratches since I'm gonna fill those in with the next layer of resin, anyways. I'm just edging her up a little bit. We've been to Oregon. We've been to uh, Stone Cold Countertops a couple times. So what she's doing is she's just kind of giving some detail to the uh, to the silhouette, scratching off maybe where some paper stuck or the overspray of the of the uh, adhesive got. Baby your pieces, people. Take time and baby them. Prepare. It's always better to do this than finish the piece and say, you know, I wish I would have... Insert your wish I would have there. Will you shine that again? Because it lit up the, the paper that is stuck. And I don't want anything to shine brighter than my silhouette. So those have to go. Shine right like a diamond. Lights out, hit it with the heat. Hit it with the Yeah. Go like kind of go down lower and like hit her with it. And then ready. <laughs> Use this one too. We'll have another drum roll. It's hard to see it with the light. It's hard still, to see you can with still the light. Yeah. Okay, turn the lights on because we're going to do quick resin. Twitter's watching it. That's why I'm getting like. 
Kim May, has anyone used gel nail polish like in resin? Yeah. Oh, like UV resin. Kim May, where where did you say that you uh, that you were from? There's some uh, art coat right up there behind my piece. What does it mean, workable fixatives? I think that means that you could spray over it and then you could work on top of that. You know, like you can continue to paint on it. It protects it at the same time you can paint on that. Is that right, everybody? Does anybody know that for sure? Oh, Simi Valley. That's right. I'm sorry, Kim. Simi Valley near LA. Okay. Is that near the ocean? California. I know, but still. I'm over there. Delivered, delivered, everything's delivered. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Sorry about the smell. I like that this is light enough to where you can't see her, but. this piece will be done. I hope. We'll see. Who knows? Did I just move this piece too high? Can you guys still see okay? down let us know why try to have that be constructive no sense in not constructive feedback what's that i'm telling people that they need to be constructive if they're going to leave us bad feedback. yeah because if you're negative then that's just going to make you look real bad and we will most likely uh, respond with something very kind and passive aggressive. Zero percent passive aggressive. <laughs> I'm always very. Babe, I'm just okay. saying. Sometimes. No. You gotta fight fire with. Nothing. Just alcohol. Shots. Let's mix rest. So if you guys have been following this piece for the last few days, you know that for this piece I am using just resin diamond coat. I have some more on order. Should be in in the next week or so. Workable fixative are used to fix dry media such as pastel charcoal, pastel pencils, graphite, when it's desired to use additional medium. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Pamela. Oh, what is that? That diamond coat? 
Yeah. Yep. It is diamond coat because it just does better for this type of wave. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the amount of heat I put on it. So I can't use my go-to, my art coat. What time is it? It is 6.50. Has it been three minutes? No. It has not. Oh man, we didn't push record on here, babe. after you. Not if you're going to talk like that. <laughs> Babe, that's just mean. Is it though? It is though. Erica, are you flooding or another wave? Um, it's going to be another wave, but the flooding procedure for filling the pits would be the same. You just would put your resin down Okay, with just a little bit of heat to pop the bubbles and leave it. If your divots are deeper than an eighth inch, you're gonna need to sand it down more or build a like a tape wall or a dam. Carla asks, what does the art coat do to it? What does it do to what? I don't know. I think what you're asking is why not art coat for this type of wave. And I think it just doesn't, it thins out with that much heat. So um, the cells don't last, they kind of just melt away. 30 seconds, babe, then you could be done mixing. Are you sure that's been three minutes? I said it was 6.50, right? When you asked? Yeah. It's 6.52 right now. I, guess I don't know that I was mixing for that full time. And now it is 6.53. I'm going to do one more minute. One more minute? Hmm. Does this resin have a U, a good, oh, does this resin have as good UV protection in it? It does not. It has good UV protectant, but it doesn't have as good of UV protectant. And there aren't that many resins Molly, out there that Molly. have as good of UV protectant as Art Coat. So after I do this, I would just, Blood with um, art, coat. art coat. I need to plug this in. Eighty-one viewers, thank you, all eighty-one of you. If all eighty-one of you have hit subscribe, we really appreciate it. If you have not, we would really appreciate it if you did. We can see who subscribes. Yeah, we can see you subscribes now. As well as everyone else. It just pops up down there on the bottom of the screen. I don't know what name is there now, but that was Liz the last person Diggings. that subscribed. That was two days ago. And I think because it didn't show it because this was turned off. Yeah. If it runs, it shows you who, who uh, subscribes. Um, I want to get, I want to find out it, it even says like who likes it and mm -hmm. but I think I wonder what what uh, what's his name uses will you use stone coat as a final coat yes do you have that resin for sale in all caps um, I do typically I'm out right now from the last time I used it every, every time I use this resin we seem to sell out 
cultured kiwi. Hello. Yeah. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, will you subscribe now so we can see your name pop up? I want to see I'll, if it works. I want to see if it works. If you please, let's see if it pops up on us. Should I add color or no color? No. I wouldn't do it. You don't. You don't do it. And don't put too much white because you don't want to cover her up. Ha! I'm just... Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry you thought I was being aggressive. Just trying to get grab your attention. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. That's all right. It's If I don't see it, somebody else will see it. And if they don't see it and somebody else does, we'll get a text message. Um, I, it just sometimes it just kind of throws me off like like they're being impatient. I'm not saying that you are being impatient, that person, <laughs> Evelyn, um, or Lisa. Whoever, te whoever did the, oh, I don't know. Um, sometimes it's just, I just like to be funny and call people out, yelling at me. I'm hungry, so now I'm just being silly. Yeah, that was the case. I'm hungry. A lady at my job okay, reported me too. to HR for sending a Skype in all caps. What? We're not going to turn you into HR. <laughs> what? No, I don't. I don't care. It's just sometimes when people do it, other people just do it all the time, and it's just like, okay, I, I get it. I understand. I don't care. You guys do what you want. It's Wednesday. And here comes the fun. Peter, I need to order you some dinner. You tutor. You tutor. I'm not hangry yet. He's in goofy hungry. That is... I have about 25, 30 minutes before hangry sets in. Mary Beth says, my little monkey dog has a crush on Cujo. Mm. Monkey dog? What's a monkey dog? Sounds precious. All right, as with the other layers, I'm doing thin coat down at the base because that's where all of our resin from up here is going to shift to because we're doing a super heated tilt Do you want me to be nice? Well, yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All the time. Is it clear or did you put uh, pigments on it? It's clear. Okay. I didn't know you were that. Yes, you do. I kind of. You absolutely know my life. Yeah, it's clear right now. Are you doing anything with this? Um, I'm going to re-spray paint it gold. Do you know what I didn't pack? Class colors. These guns, bang bang. Oh, those are carry-on. Mm. <laughs> those are just tall ones. Does it glow blue or green? It looks like a bluish purple now. I think she makes some colors. Yeah. Otherwise, it's blue green. Hope you get better, Lisa. 
but you feel awesome if they help you out. wanted to do this with stone coat um, just let your resin set up for a little bit so if you're using the countertop coat let it set up for like 15 minutes and if you're using our coat it's got to set up for like probably an hour Let's do our white, which I've requested not so much white. Yeah, it's just resin. Jeff's so funny. He'll he'll not pay attention to what I'm doing, <laughs> and I will have talked specifically about things, and he's like, "Well, what's this?" I'm like. I literally just. I just you know, I'm, I'm just me. What are you gonna do? I threw that in the back. Of me. All right. I have no pits yet. I didn't. <laughs> will hear you. Achoo. Good night, Donna. Literally, we'll see you later. I'll probably take. Have an awesome day. It's already Thursday where Donna's at, right? Time Traveler. I'm going to call you Marty McFly. Donna McFly. Donna McFly. All right. Have a piece of glitter. Oh, look. Julie Ewing. Oh, yeah. I have to... I have to redo this. There you go. And young, I can never. Sometimes I have to jumpstart my heat gun. Okay, <laughs> maybe the only one. All right. Let's do this. Resin are you using? Just resin, diamond coat. The white's not going to go all the way to the back. You're going to be alright. This looks like a wave. Mm -hmm. Can you turn that UV light on?
Sherry Vegas. Has 34,000 followers on TikTok. She just started following us. We shall follow back. Welcome, Sherry Vegas, to our TikTok channel. If you're watching us here on YouTube as well. So, <laughs> it's not repitting, so that's good. So, if you do this spray adhesive, just seal it in. Yeah, just seal it in. I may end up doing a full flood coat because I have pitting up here in the second wave. So my gold sand will probably end up being included in the, the final flood. That'll probably be the last. And then I'll do a clear flood over the whole thing. Very nice. Congratulations, Lisa. Still bits of... Does it to me to France. Susan said, I really like this. I was skeptical of the colors when you started. I get it. I get it. Oh. Can I even see it on the camera? Uh huh. It's glowing. It's on the front. There you go. I think we need new batteries in that. Super fun. Look how fun it is. Yay. Good job, babe. Good job. Thanks. It's my line. No, I'm just kidding. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, what is that, dog? Hey, give me a, can we get a ow, ow, ow? <laughs> that old dog. Oh. So cute. All right, kids, I think that is about all the time we have today. Julie Ewing, thank you for joining. Um, young Heup, thank you for subscribing. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all of you that came out today. Um, on this Wednesday afternoon. I'll show you guys this again because I'm pretty proud of it. I, I, I did it very loosely. Um, just to see, I was doing some just kind of experimenting with a, a stencil and then paint and washes and whatnot. But um, I like it. It's a fun little piece. Um, I'd love to do one a little bit bigger. But as you can see, the stencil I made for it. Um, if you go to our TikTok, Artist Till Death, you can see the whole, the whole story, minute by minute. It was awesome how uh, Erica helped me film that. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to do more of those. I love to record stuff. I just, I don't like to do that by myself because. It takes away from me creating, and I have to think about stop, getting the camera angle, um, because I move around a lot in my area. If I were just to do one thing, that would be, that would be, you know, one thing. I could press record, do it, and it would be good. But I move around a lot. I spray paint, I airbrush, I paintbrush, I do uh, a lot of different stuff. So uh, don't don't get discouraged. Don't be like me and get discouraged sometimes when you do record. Um, I, I highly suggest always recording your stuff. For one, that is a, uh, if you do something for the first time that you think, maybe you invented, you that you've, uh, hey, this is my style, then that is a poor man's pattern, right? Kinda? I did it on this day. Kind of. Yeah, same difference. It's a poor, poor man's pattern. Poor, poor man's pattern. <laughs> but they don't really honor a poor man's And you can anymore. see, you know, if you've, uh, what you've done. 
you know, and how you did it. Always go back and, and watch that stuff. Watch it. Yeah. Watch it, watch it. So, um, I'm going to go get some food. Um, we're going to finish packing. We're going to load this van up, take some seats out. We're going to take the seats out of the van. Um, and uh, Tudor's going to help me do that, I hope. Get some food and then... Uh, okay, Ms. Take these pooches. O-U-T. Mm -hmm. um, and so, Louise. yeah. Lil Wheezy coming over here. You guys have an awesome rest of your night. Have an awesome Thursday in Australia. Um, like I say, we, we might go live from the road tomorrow. We'll, we'll be leaving early. So, you guys have an awesome night. Have an awesome day tomorrow. And uh, be kind to one another because you never know what somebody's going through. And remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. Sorry, I got interrupted. She by loves to just add, she adds it. She just adds a little tea. So you don't have tea. Mm -hmm. You love it. I know you do. I can see it in your face. Okay. You can see it in your face balls. So we'll see you guys later. Bye. I said bye. B. No, no, no. Teach me how to beatbox. No. B. No. You're going to make me do it by myself. No. For real? Teach me how to beatbox. Just do a little bit. That's it. Can you do it without the crinkling? No. Yeah. If you feel like tomorrow, I'll do that. <laughs>